smashing her way through is the second most famous green goliath from the Marvel comics. Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, who, with her fourth wall-breaking characteristics, could become one of the most lovable superheroes in the future, especially if Marvel's plans for her include the likes of her joining the next Avengers lineup, rumored for quite a while now. Taking her cousin's place after his election falls short, one of the many upcoming MCU projects to the Disney Plus streaming platform is She-Hulk, with the series bringing the debut of the titular character in the wider MCU. Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, is an excellent lawyer even before becoming She-Hulk, as many of you know her, with her powers being directly adapted from her cousin Bruce Banner, aka The Hulk, after a blood transfusion, a character who we have seen in quite a few movies so far and one that we fell in love with just by who he is. And a side note, he is also getting a standalone project in the near future, so keep an eye on him, as there might be news coming your way. The name of the game for Marvel seems to be it heading into their sophomore year, as we are seeing more and more introductions of new characters from the Marvel Universe. Projects for said characters which also bring in a lot of new crew members for all the behind the scenes work that is being done. A lot of new writers who are there to tell various stories within the Marvel world, pulling it straight from the Marvel Comics canon side of things. While we are at that place of the people working behind the scenes on the project, we have Jessica Guile as the showrunner of the series, with her work previously acknowledged for the projects like Robot Chicken, Silicon Valley, and Rick and Morty that earned her a lot of praise and awards for the Emmy Award winning episodes, which include the likes of Pickle Rick, The Whirly Durly Conspiracy, and Rick Mancing the Stone. Joining her, Marvel took the liberty to employ Kat Carr from Shameless and a new Valia from Mixedish, with both working on the director side of things. Quar was responsible for being a director of six episodes and Valia for three, with one episode left for some unknown individual to take over. So we can see that the people who are working on the project, with their backgrounds of providing quality entertainment and have great comedic timing, already makes the whole She-Hulk project a stacked one. Sadly, despite the series confirmed of coming to Disney Plus in 2022, we are still with no confirmation of the exact date for the series. However, with the likes of Miss Marvel dropping in the summer and Thor Love and Thunder releasing in July, we should not expect the She-Hulk series to arrive before September 2022 because Disney CEO Bob Chapek previously announced that She-Hulk will be coming to the streaming platform after the Miss Marvel series. So there is that. Rumored reshoots might be what is causing the series to have an official release date yet, but we don't think that it will get delayed by any means necessary. Away from all the reshoots and speculation about the series, we are turning to the known facts about the series. And on that note, we are here to tell you that the series will have the biggest number of episodes out of all Marvel TV shows so far, with the final number being 10 episodes for the season, which will also make it the longest Marvel show to date, despite each of the episodes, according to some resources, being 30 minutes each. As for actual footage of the series, the only thing we got was back in November 2021, when we were given a teaser of sorts that comprised some actual scenes of the series, barely encompassing a run of no more than 30 seconds. Nevertheless, the short clip shows us Jennifer Walters in her human form, rigged to some monitoring equipment under her cousin's control, which also confirmed that we are going to see Hulk in the series. Later on, we also get a brief glimpse of She-Hulk's green leg in a ball gown as she is stepping onto a red carpet. We will probably have to wait a few months from now to receive a proper trailer for the series. Presumably, when March 2022, reshoots are finished and all the post-production final touches are in place, Tatiana Maslany will have no problem portraying two characters put into one, something she did to perfection in Orphan Black, where she had a few clones to do a part of acting for. Joining her, as we said before, will be her cousin Bruce Banner, the Hulk, with Mark Ruffalo in the role, which will also be his ninth outing as part of the MCU. As for the newcomers, we have the likes of Ginger Gazaga as Tatiana's still unnamed best friend, Renee Elise Goldsberry as a character rumored to be named Amelia. The longtime man from behind the scenes might make a debut in the MCU. Of course, we are talking about Kevin Feige himself, who will probably be addressed by She-Hulk's fourth wall-breaking characteristic, who also said that the series will welcome a host of other Marvel characters. However, still don't know who we are going to get. 
which makes the whole thing even more exciting, with one confirmed individual of the plethora of characters being Emil Blonsky, the abomination, with Tim Roth returning for the role. We would not be surprised to see Roth's best bud from the Shang-Chi movie, Juan from Doctor Strange, to have a cameo or two in the series. However, out of all the characters speculated for the series, we are most excited about Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil appearance, especially now that the latest Spider-Man movie confirmed him of being part of the MCU already. A logical candidate considering him as yet another strong lawyer in the business. Thus, a courtroom face-off between Marvel's most high-profile lawyers is simply inevitable. Other potential cameos include the likes of Howard the Duck and Frogman. And that is it from the cast side of things. The details about the plot of the series are scarce. However, the short clip that was given to us suggests that the Disney Plus series will see the shift of Tatiana's character between her two selves, with her origin story looking pretty similar to the one she has in the comics. It is also pretty clear that Bruce Banner will serve as the biggest helping hand a cousin can give, especially when it comes to her rage-included transformations, whatever the case may be. One of the most interesting things we are going to see in the series is the fourth wall breaking characteristics of the character, something not many heroes or villains possess. The other notable one being Deadpool, with She-Hulk addressing to the fans being a key component way before the live action one we got to see from Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. With the MCU becoming even more interconnected between the projects it releases, we should not be surprised to see the character becoming part of a few future projects of the MCU, especially if the rumors of new Avengers line up being true. Hey team, we highly anticipate to include the likes of She-Hulk, a character who, in the Marvel comics, has had her fair share of being a team player and a member of the Avengers throughout her life. Curiously, we also came across news suggesting that the She-Hulk series will not be a WandaVision style of series, a one-season deal, but rather a recurring series, with the plot of each of the episodes focusing on a different character, a hero or villain alike, something that has sparked some fire in all of ourselves. A hint that suggests that we might be getting a plethora of new characters being added to the MCU, no matter of how big of an impact they will eventually have. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the She-Hulk character and the series as a whole? Do you think she will be accepted in the same way as the first Green Goliath of the MCU, or will receive a bigger ovation going by the fact that she is the one to receive a standalone project first? and for her powers, both as a lawyer and a big green. Do you think she has what it takes? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.